Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O along with these uh, two tangent lines uh, A, B and uh, AC as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, these two tangent lines uh, converge at each other at this point A and as a result we get this uh, angle uh, BAC that is being represented by 8x uh, plus 7. And furthermore, uh, this arc uh, BC is uh, 133 degrees. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, circle uh, with the center O. And now let's focus on this uh, arc uh, BC. This is our uh, small uh, arc, which is uh, 133 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, whole uh, arc length uh, is uh, 360 degrees. And this uh, whole arc, uh, this side is going to be our big uh, arc. And our this uh, big arc is going to be 360 degrees uh, minus 133 degrees. That is going to give us uh, 227 degrees. So thus our this uh, big arc turns out to be 227 degrees. And now let's recall this uh, formula. The angle is always equal to the big arc minus the small arc uh, all over 2. And in our case, uh, our angle is uh, BAC. Our small arc is uh, 133 degrees and our big arc is uh, 227 degrees. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Our angle is uh, 8x plus 7. So I'm going to substitute that angle value 8x uh, uh, plus 7 is going to be equal to our big arc uh, is uh, 227 degrees minus uh, 133 degrees uh, all over 2. And now if we subtract uh, these angles that is going to give us uh, 94 degrees so therefore we can write this one as uh, 8x uh, plus 7 equals to 94 degrees uh, divided by 2 and finally we can write this thing as uh, 8x uh, plus 7 this right hand side reduces uh, to 47 degrees and now we are going to subtract 7 from both sides this uh, cancels out so therefore 8x turns out to be equal to 40 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 8 to isolate x. This 8 and 8 is gone. So therefore our x value simply turns out to be 5 degrees. So thus our x value turns out to be 5 degrees by using the very first method. And now let me share with you the second method. And now let's make an observation. We can see these points uh, B and C are our points of uh, tangency. And now I'm going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B. As you can see in this uh, next step. And likewise I'm going to connect this center O with this uh, point C as well. As you can see in this uh, next step. Now we can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this circle and likewise uh, OC is the radius as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle is our 90 degree angle since this is our radius uh, and this is our tangent line. And likewise, uh, this angle is 90 degrees as well since this is our radius uh, and this is our tangent line as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle uh, BOC is our angle at the center. And this uh, angle at the center is going to be equal to this whole uh, arc uh, 
BC angle which is 133 degrees. So therefore our this uh, angle BOC with the center turns out to be 133 degrees as well. And in this uh, next step we are going to focus on this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABOC whose uh, four interior angles uh, are 8x uh, plus 7, 90 degrees, 133 degrees and finally 90 degrees as well. And now let's recall the interior angle sum formula. Interior angle sum is always equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees where n represents the number of uh, polygon sides and here we can see there are four sides of this quadrilateral so therefore n is going to be equal to 4 so therefore uh, interior ang angle sum is going to be 4 uh, minus 2 times uh, 180 degrees and if we simplify furthermore that is going to give us 2 times 180 degrees that is equal to 360 degrees so thus our interior angle sum turns out to be equal to 360 degrees now on the left hand side i am going to add up all these four individual interior angles so therefore i can write down 8x plus 7 plus 90 degrees plus 130 3 degrees plus uh, likewise uh, 90 degrees is going to be equal to 360 degrees and if we add uh, these uh, like terms uh, that adds up to 320 so therefore we can write down 8x uh, plus uh, 320 turns out to be equal to 360 degrees and I'm going to subtract uh, 320 from both uh, sides and here we can see this cancels out on the left hand side so therefore 8x uh, turns out to be equal to 40 and now I'm going to divide both sides by 8 uh, to isolate uh, x and here 8 and 8 is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 5 so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 5 by using the second method as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye